Let's click the Go to Theme Builder button. On the left menu under Design Form, you can add all of these input items. Let's start with the drop down menu. Alright, we've added Select Interest Type as our label here. Now let's add the selections. You can rearrange your items. These are your items. So it will show how you have them organized here. You can reorganize them by just clicking and dragging and dropping. You can also make this field required. You can also start an autoresponder based on their selection. So if they select coder, you could start an autoresponder about coding. If they select designer, you could start an autoresponder about designing. You can also assign them to a list based on their selection. When you're finished, click the close button. And you're done. You can also arrange these fields. You can drag and drop them. Just like so. Let's insert a text field. Okay, we've entered our label here. We'll click close. When the contact clicks in the field to type in the chapter name, this text will disappear and they can enter their text. We'll make it required, then click close. If you don't want the first and last name, you can delete it. Just click in the first name, click delete. And if you want to add name only, on the left hand menu, select name only then click close and then drag and drop it at the top just like so your title if you don't want the title you can delete the title if you want to add it back on the left hand menu select add block then click blank row then click the cross then drag and drop it at the top we'll scroll all the way to the bottom we'll left click Hit the backspace button to delete any unnecessary spaces. Change our text. We'll center it. Bold it. Change the text to 24. Then we'll click out of it. And there's our title. If you'd rather have an image, delete the title. On the left hand menu, click header. Then click the cross. Then drag and drop your header to the top then double click on the image then select my library and there's my header image you can see that my header image is 600 pixels wide the recommended width for that header image is 340 so instead of just inserting we'll click customize and here's our dimensions we'll drag this down to 340 and then click the insert button then we'll click out of it. And there's our header. Now it looks like our header is a little too wide for our form. So instead of making my header smaller, I want to make my form wider. So we'll click the name, change this to 320. We'll click email, change it to 320. We'll click interest type, we'll change it to 320. Chapter name, 320 in width. There we go. So there's our form. Now if you'd like to add a video, you can add a video here as well. On the left-hand menu, let's click Player. We'll click the cross. We'll drag and drop it all the way up to the top, just below the header. And then we'll center it. Before we delete the image and insert the video, let's click out of it, close the theme builder, and let's open our HTML5 video. We'll click manage videos. I want to insert the dancing iPhone video, but it's a lot wider. I'll make a copy. There's my copy. Now let's edit the video. Okay, I've named it. Now let's resize it. We'll click in the width. 
type in our desired width, then we'll click in the height, it will automatically resize it. Then we'll click the preview button. There's my video. Now we'll save and close. We'll go back to our web forms, click go to theme builder. We'll click the edit button, delete the image. On the left hand menu we'll click embed video. We'll click HTML5. There's our video. We'll click the plus sign to insert it. Then we'll click out of it. And now we're done. You can also edit this text on the button. Then click close. Now that we have our image and our video, our video will do the talking. So we'll delete the header image. And we're done. Click close theme builder and you're done.